Hello everyone, this is your teacher Clintz and welcome to your music class. Our lesson for today is about the grouping notes and rests as rhythmic patterns. Meter and bar lines. Look at the picture, can you recall the time values of these notes and rests? Notes and rests can be grouped as units called meter. Each meter may contain two, three, or four beats. A duple meter contains two beats. A triple meter has three beats while a quadruple meter has four beats. Which notes can you group together to form two beats? Which notes can you group together to form four beats? A series of notes and rest patterns can be organized using a line to divide the patterns equally. This line is called a bar line. A single bar line is used to divide the note and rest patterns into equal units. A double bar line, on the other hand, indicates the end of a pattern series. Each meter has strong and weak beats. Usually, the first beat of the meter is strong and the remaining beats are weak. The strong beats are marked by the accent sign greater than above the note. Study the patterns below. Note and rest counting. Note and rest patterns can be performed well through practice and counting. The numbers written below each note or rest indicate the correct counting pattern for each meter. Remember, notes and rests can be grouped equally into units called meter. A bar line divides the note and rest patterns equally into meters. A duple meter contains two beats. A triple meter has three beats while a quadruple meter has four beats. An accent is the strong beat in a meter. Grouping notes and rest patterns helps convey a musical idea accurately. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.